everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I'm out in my garden and I am about to plant some uh, globe artichoke that I grew in the winter sow method. During the winter months, I put it in this, put the seeds in this uh, milk jug and you seal it up with some tape and you just sit it out in the elements throughout the winter and watch your seeds grow. So my uh, globe artichoke have grown and I'm gonna finally get a chance to go ahead and plant them up. And also I uh, started some snapdragon in the winter so method. And so I'm gonna finally open them up because I haven't opened them up yet, but I can look down in there and I can see that I have some snapdragon. And snapdragons are some flowers. And as you can see, they grew pretty tall in there. And so I need to go ahead and get them out because snapdragons are more of a cool uh, weather plant. They like uh, fall and uh, early spring more than the hot summer months. So if I'm gonna enjoy these, I need to go ahead and get these planted up. So what I'm going to plant the snapdragons in, I'm gonna put them in like a window box. And some of these will not go in here. I'm not gonna put all of them in there because that would be too crowded, but I'm gonna put a lot of them in there because I wanna get as much uh, enjoyment out of them in these uh, last uh, days of spring that I can get. So. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill my container. And I have some um, potty mix that is the black gold that I like to use. It's an organic potty mix. And I'm going to go ahead and fill my container with this black gold organic potty mix. And this potty mix has some fertilizer in it. It is a 13-4-13. Go ahead and lower the camera so you all can see. And I've drilled some drain holes in these uh, containers already. I have three of these containers. I'm going to uh, put something else in the other containers. So, okay. So now I've got my. Uh, soil leveled off in there. So what I'm going to do now is take out some of my plants. I'm just going to go ahead and scoop out a bunch of them. This is what they're looking like. And then I'm going to have to separate them and put them into this pot. And I'm just going to take them out just a sprig at a time. and plant them in this container. And then I will take the rest of them and I'll put them into some small containers that I can share with some other friends and family. But it won't take these plants long to uh, go ahead and become large and get some flowers on them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them in a uh, sunny spot, but where there is uh, some shade also, so that they won't just uh, burn up from the heat. Cause we have been having some warm days. I'm gonna take some of these larger ones and stick in there. So this is kind of, I've uh, kind of gotten behind on these. I should have already taken these out and sown them into the garden, but uh, things, you know, just seem to be behind around here right now. A lot of things need to be done that I just have not gotten done. And so I'm trying to cram a lot of stuff into one day now. So 
So this still, this seems like a lot of plants in this container. But um, I wanted to go ahead and fill out. You know, I don't want to uh, lose any more time. I need to get these filled out and get to enjoying some of these flowers that are going to be growing on there. So I will keep you guys updated on this container. And then the rest of these I will put in some other spaces in the garden. And I'm going to go ahead now and put a label on this and mark it so that I will know what it is. Because a lot of times we uh, think that we're going to remember, but we have a lot of plants in the garden and we just forget what everything is if we don't have a label on it. So it looks kind of skimpy, but it's going to fill out really fast. And so this is our first container that we have done this morning. And I'm going to wait until the uh, end of getting all of these done. And then I will go ahead and I will, oh, I will water them in. Okay, next we're going to be putting in our globe artichoke. Now this globe artichoke is a heavy feeder and I'm going to put it in this five gallon bucket by itself. I'm going to only put one plant in. And before I do, I'm going to go ahead and put some um, fertilizer in there. I'm going to use some of this Espamo organic fertilizer. I'm just going to pour some, <clears throat> pour some in. And then I just want to mix it in really good. And the reason I'm putting some fertilizer in here is because this is some soil from last season. I just removed some uh, lettuce from this this morning. And so I needed to uh, amend this soil some. So I'm going to put this artichoke in here because artichokes is something that I find myself purchasing at the store a lot. I love artichokes and I've never tried to grow them. so. I decided this season that I was going to grow them and I decided to do it by starting with winter sowing. So it was a successful winter sow. I have uh, some glow artichoke plants here and they seem to have some very sturdy roots, guys. Look at those. I know that the plant does get really big. That's why I'm going to only put one plant into this box, into this uh, container. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig me a hole and place it in it and put my soil back up around it. Okay, so now we've got a globe artichoke planted. This is my first time and I've already made my uh, tag for it. And so globe artichoke planted. And they are perennial they come back year after year so we'll be having more globe artichoke i'll probably be planting them in the same kind of containers that way i can keep up with them rather than putting them in a bed or planting them in ground so we don't have globe artichoke and the next containers that i'm doing i'll just go ahead and do both of those at the same time because this is where i'm going to plant my milkweed As I told you in a few videos before that I was going to be planting milkweed to try and get butterflies to come to the garden. I already have some butterfly bush planted, but I decided to go ahead and plant some milkweed flowers also. Miss Linda has beautiful milkweed growing in her garden. And so we're gonna see if we can get some of those beautiful milkweed growing over here. And she attracts the monarch butterfly and other butterflies and hummingbirds to her garden regularly. So we're gonna see if we can get some of those butterflies and hummingbirds to come over to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead.
So if you get a chance, go over and check out the New Orleans gardener, Miss Linda, in her garden. See some of the beautiful flowers and trees that she's growing. She has all types of trees, fruit trees, and all types of exotic flowers and vegetables also growing in her garden. So check out the New Orleans Gardener. Okay, so we've got our, I wanna kinda of push it down, our soil in, but I wanna get a good foundation because I don't want all of my seeds going to the bottom because this is what I'm planting in here. I have seeds, I don't have any milkweed plants. So I need to have a foundation that these seeds can be secure in. Okay, so I have three varieties of milkweed. And I showed you in my seed haul. This one is called Rose. This one is Butterfly. And then we have Snowy. So I'm going to plant some of the, it says not snowy, but showy. We're going to put some of the showy and some of the rose in the same container. Since they have similar colors. Let me see what those seeds are looking like. The seeds are kind of large, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a little tunnel in the center make me a row of each i don't need it too deep but i do need these seeds to be covered so i'm going to go ahead and start with my showy and my rose and i'm just going to place some seeds in the center of my row. Okay, that's showy. Let's see if these rose seeds are looking just like the other seeds. They do, they look the same. The seeds look exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just put some of those seeds right in the center of my row. And then I'm just going to cover make me a tag. And I'm going to put the name of the milkweed, Showy and Rose. So I got milkweed on one side and then I have the variety on the other side. And then I'm going to do my butterfly. Now these seeds look a little smaller but still too small to just put on top of the soil. They still need to be sown beneath the soil. A lot of times we can just take seeds and put them on top of the soil, but these are not that type. And I seem like I sprinkle those a little more densely than I did the others. We'll see how that turns out. If they are too thick, then I will just uh, thin them out. But I do think that they'll be okay. Although I have never planted milkweed before. So this is the first time for me on the milkweed. So now that we have got our milkweed planted, we have our um, artichoke, globe artichoke is planted, and our snapdragon is planted. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them all 
on the ground and water them in. Well, I can't put them up here and water them in. Oh, and I need to go ahead and make my label for the, what was that, butterfly. We just put milkweed on this side. And I'll put the variety on the other side, which is butterfly. Water in. And I'm really excited about all of these plants that I did today. I don't know why it took me so long to get them in. I kept putting other projects ahead of these projects. And I was so excited about them. because I've never planted any of these before. I never did the milkweed. I never did the snapdragon. Especially um, excited about it because I did it, you know, in the winter so method. And about the artichoke. Excited about the thought of being able to get some artichoke without having to go and purchase them at the store. I like artichoke in a uh, dip, a spinach dip, and I also add them to pizzas. So like I said, we use those regularly. Okay guys, so that's our project for today. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Hope that you will give it a thumbs up, that you will subscribe to my channel if you have already, not already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and a shout out to my daughter, Latoya, who purchased this beautiful hat for me. She was on vacation in Miami and she picked up this hat so that it would keep the sun off of me while I'm in the garden. So more sun protection. Thank you, Latoya. I love you so much.